Hello and welcome. I'm Annette Reeder from TheBiblicalNutritionist.com and today it's all about fiber. Without fiber, you don't move. Without fiber, you cannot have a BM day. And I am going to totally explain that at the end. And it may not be what you're thinking. So today it's all about fiber. We need fiber so much in our diet. It helps control so many processes and it seems so innocent, but yet it's so important. Well, thanks for letting me share with you God's recipe for excellent health. As the biblical nutritionist, as your personal nutritionist, it is always my joy and honor to come to you and to teach you whatever I can that God has put on my heart. Please hit like, subscribe, and the bell so you get notified every time we post new videos. And as you subscribe, you become part of the Biblical Nutritionist family. Again, welcome. Now, let's get started with learning what are the top fiber foods that you need to add into your diet today. Without fiber, you do not get the nutrition that your body needs to get rid of disease and to prevent disease from happening in the first place. And so there are two kinds of fiber you need to understand. One is soluble and one is insoluble. Now insoluble, I just pretty much consider it, it's a broom. It just comes through, grabs all the, the toxins, grabs all of the impurities, grabs all the waste and just says, you're out of here and it just sweeps it out. And that's what we wanted to do. Soluble fiber actually goes into your digestive tract and it creates more of a gel. And then as it reaches into the large colon, the bacteria just say, oh, we want this, we love this. It's incredibly good. And then it creates vitamins. From these vitamins, it also creates short chain fatty acids. It creates such an environment for healing, an environment for health, an environment for life. And fiber is a substance that we have to have in our diet. Fiber helps to lower cholesterol. Fiber helps to prevent cancer. When we talk about my husband's testimony, or as we call it, our testimony, when we just increased his fiber up to 50 grams, and we did it through the Daniel Fast, he was able to lower his cholesterol from 300 down to 140, and that was just in 30 days. Now he did exercise, and we changed the diet, but the fiber was the most important thing that we did. We focused on fiber. Fiber grabs bad cholesterol and says, you're not welcome here anymore, and it will cast it out. We still need cholesterol in our body because <coughs> cholesterol is how we build hormones. It's how we have mental function. So you need cholesterol. Cholesterol is necessary for healthy skin. We have to have all of this. So you need fiber. Now back to the question, how much fiber is good? Most people only getting 15 to 20 grams of fiber. And when parents come to me and they say, well, my pediatrician said it's okay for my child to only go to the bathroom for every four to five days, I say no. So that's four to five days of waste, four to five days of toxins just sitting there. And they're putrefying and you don't need that. You are a living person and you need to be continually processing every single day. So you should be having uh, some movement at least twice a day on a normal day. How many grams? Back to that. I want you to have a minimum of 50 grams. Yes, it's five, zero, 50 grams. You say, Annette, that's a lot. In fact, I was actually way over that one with my husband that one month we were trying to get the cholesterol down. And my husband came home from work one day and he says, we have got to cut back on the fiber. I've got meetings I have to attend. I had him way over 50. And so I had to cut him back to 50 so he could just have, he could go to meetings and not be interrupted. And so I do listen to my husband. And so we, to get up to 50 grams though is very important. And just do it by increments of five grams. At first, you're gonna to have to learn to count grams of fiber. And I have many handouts in my books, in my nutrition manual. We talk about this, that you can go there and learn about it. Once you get an idea of how many grams everything is, then you know what to eat, what not to eat. And then eventually you won't have to count grams anymore because you'll feel amazing. You'll be able to lose weight, maintain the weight loss. Your skin will be much brighter. It will be more beautiful. You'll just be evidently walking around as if you have more fiber in your diet. So this is something I want you to pay attention to. Now let's get going into top foods for fiber in your diet today. Food number one is lentils. Lentils are the perfect fiber food. I have some really good recipes for lentil barley soup and a lentil salad. It's a cold salad. It is so delicious. And remember, Esau sold his birthright for lentils. 
Number two is split peas. These are the perfect addition to any soup, and every time you add it to your soups, whether it's a little bit or a lot, you're gonna get that fiber boost that your body needs. Number three is black beans. Whether you buy them canned or fresh here in the bag, they are going to add a great burst of fiber into your diet. The black bean soup in my cookbook is so delicious and it's so economical to make as well. Number four is pinto beans. Again, another excellent source of fiber and they make the best bean dip ever. Totally delicious and your family will love it. Number five is artichoke hearts. These are so delicious to put on a salad and just to have in any type of different dish. And they definitely will give us a burst of fiber. Number six is kidney beans. Totally put these in my chili or in my zesty wild beans and rice salad. Oh, it is such a favorite when I take it to different events. Number seven is chickpeas, also known as garbanzo beans. Just putting these as a topping on your salad gives you the perfect protein and of course, fiber. And this celery would be excellent. And especially if you can get some of the green leaves, even if they don't look good, they have a really good amount of nutrients that are good for cleansing the liver and the fiber is just good for cleansing the whole colon. Number nine is apples. Uh, definitely apples have a really good fiber. They have the pectin. One apple a day definitely does keep the doctor away. What it does in your microbiome and what it does for your hormones makes for a very sweet and crispy day. Number 10 is raspberries. Again, another fruit I like to grow in my yard, but yet if you can't get them at the store, they are a great anti-cancer and highly fibrous. Number 11 is blueberries. Definitely one of my favorite foods and my grandchildren's favorite food. Fresh blueberries, grow them on your own, but if not, buy them in the store, but they will give you the fiber that you're looking for. Number 12 is carrots, and definitely prefer organic carrots if at all possible, but they have a good amount of fiber. Well, number 13 is popcorn, and look at this product here. It's organic, which is very necessary. It must be organic popcorn, and then it's using ghee to produce it, and so that would be an excellent product to try. Definitely organic, and then you can even pop it yourself. That's what I do. I buy 25 pounds of popcorn granules, and then we just pop them whenever we are ready for a snack. Number 14 is oranges. So not only do they give you fiber, even more than you might suspect, but the vitamin C with the fiber is just a double healing. Now, number 15 is kale, and yes, eating it like this is good, but making kale chips is even more delicious, and you get that crunch of a chip, and you get the nutrition and the fiber of the kale. Number 16 is Brussels sprouts. I like to just roast them, cut them in half, toss them with a little bit of olive oil, and roast them, but I also like to just shred them raw and put them straight into a salad. It is so delicious, especially with cranberries. When you're looking for a really good pasta and we're looking for the fiber count, these type pastas, the red lentil and the chickpea are much higher. You go to seven grams of fiber per serving versus a typical pasta where you only get two grams of fiber per serving. Definitely adds more flavor, sometimes adds a little color, especially if you get the red lentils, but we have so upped the fiber. Number 18 is flaxseed. Now what you see here, all of this shelf, it's all flaxseed meal. I prefer you buy the actual seeds themselves and you mill it yourself. Therefore you get all of the lignin oils, everything that God put in the seed for you to benefit and the seeds last longer on your shelf. If you buy the flaxseed meal, it will give you the fiber though. So it's okay to buy this for the fiber benefit, but make sure you refrigerate this because it's now an opened seed. And so this is number 18. Flaxseed works really well for balancing hormones, especially women who are going through menopause and hot flashes. It totally works. Babies who are having trouble passing uh, stool, the moms need to have flaxseed in their diet. But also once a child starts eating, having any type of food, they can have flaxseed in that early food introduction. 
And number 19 is chia seeds. These are so delicious. They have your omega threes, they have the fiber, they can make the best pudding, the best breakfast oatmeal, and yet you're adding fiber at the same time. What a great way to just boost that fiber count and enjoy the flavor as well. Number 20 is the ancient grain of quinoa. Quinoa, well, we used to call it quinoa before we learned how to say it appropriately. So quinoa is just a delicious, it's a complete protein, so we get that benefit and the fiber. So we get a double bang for what we're getting in our diet. This is a very good brand here, organic, non-GMO verified, excellent choices. Quinoa actually expands so you can eat just a little and get a very satisfying meal. 21 is broccoli and broccoli with this burst of green flavor but yet it is loaded with fiber. This would include all varieties of broccoli, even broccoli sprouts. 22 is cabbage and I love this being the Napa cabbage and also the bok choy. Both of these are cabbage variety and also like the way they sell it as a half. This is my favorite cabbage of all. Number 23 is oats. You'd be surprised how just having a bowl of oats for breakfast can totally be a game changer on getting your digestive system back into its regular routine of how God designed it to work. Oats are fantastic for lowering cholesterol and it's all because of the fiber. And number 24 is barley. As you know, hopefully you've been, you're already subscribed to this channel and you're familiar with my latest book, Seven Foods of the Promised Land. Well, one of those foods is barley. Barley was usually consumed by the poor people at that time, but yet they had the best food ever. Barley is really good for athletes. It's good for building the microbiome and it has the fiber that we're looking for. Number 25 is whole wheat pasta. And yes, look right here, they're bragging on the label, seven grams of fiber. Well, sometimes you wanna feed your kids some fun foods. I get that, my grandkids love fun foods too. And yet, you know, as a mom or as a grandma, you're giving them protein and fiber so you can feel good about feeding them that, that dish. And blackberries are number 26, and the seeds and all. You definitely want to consume every bit of it. Next, we have almonds. Almonds give us the protein, they give us some of the essential fats, but they also give us the fiber. Imagine just putting these in your smoothies, on your salads, on your soups, or just eating them as a handful. Maybe not a handful, but maybe, you know, six to eight almonds as your snack, if you need a snack, or as your protein and fat and fiber for a meal. 28 is pumpkin seeds. Just imagine different salads or casseroles or soups that you could top with some pumpkin seeds. That would be delicious and you're boosting the fiber count. 29 is pears. And I know this doesn't look like the normal pear. This is the Asian pear. It is my favorite variety of pears. I actually grow these in my own yard. I so love them. They're so sweet and so crunchy and delicious. Perfect amount of fiber for you to enjoy. Number 30 is avocados. Just cream these up and make that your new condiment on your sandwich or with your eggs. And number 31 is bananas. Yes, green bananas, ripe bananas, they're both gonna give us really good fiber. Going into two bonuses, number one is muesli. Muesli is a great combination of different grains and oats and different ingredients. I have a delicious recipe for this in my Healthy Treasures cookbook. Muesli is number 32. I'm gonna add on two as a bonus and that will totally start your day with a very high fiber. Bonus number two is gonna be crackers, but it has to be very specific crackers. I'm so excited to find these here at this grocery store. This is called Deerberg's. So we have flackers. All of these have five grams, five grams, a lot of grams of fiber. This one here has four grams. And then we have these veggie flats, which also are very high in fiber. This is four grams. If you wanna get some more fiber in your diet, you can have crackers. Well, this wraps up how to get more fiber in your diet. And remember, the more fiber we get in our diet, the more of a BM we will have. And no, it's not what you're thinking. It stands for bright mind. And we all need a little bit of bright mind today. So take these suggestions, put fiber everywhere. Don't eat a single meal or a snack without protein and fiber. You need it, your brain needs it, your gut needs it. And when your gut says thank you, it says thank you with beautiful skin, a bright mind, remember we wanna have a BM every day, and just overall longevity and vigor. That's what you're gonna get when you have fiber. Thanks for letting me share this with you and sharing God's recipe for excellent health. And remember, 
the main ingredient that I want to teach you is how much God loves you. No matter what's going on in our world today, God is there for you. No matter what's going on with your health, with your marriage, with your finances, God already has a plan and He wants to be there for you. He just asks you to accept Him as his, your Savior and then you will experience that peace that He promises. Thanks for watching.